Welcome back to the studio, friends. Gonna have a short little video today. We're not gonna be doing any painting or anything like that, but there's just something I wanna show you, so let's, let's check this out. What I got here are my two Bob Ross two-inch brushes. Now, I've been using these. Let me get them over here in the light where you can see them better. I've been using these for about, I've been painting for about nine years. One of them I bought earlier. I can't remember which one I got first. And the other one I bought about a year after I started painting. I wanted two brushes, of course. But I want to show you this. They're still in pretty good condition. As with a lot of brushes that you paint, they seem to get a, like a lot fuller, I guess. Just the some of the paint or the whatever hanging on to them. And they, they don't wash out as good maybe all the time. But they still work pretty good. And I use only odorless thinner to wash my brushes. So these two brushes here, about nine years old, still using them today. They're still good brushes. But here's what I wanna show you. Here's what I got today in the mail. <clears throat> A new two inch Bob Ross brush. This is, as you can see, it's still, it's got full bristles. It's, uh, you know, brand new. This is the made in Germany kind. You could tell also by the way the this ferrule is stapled on there. But it looks to be like it's going to be a pretty good brush. It's 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 full and soft and I think it'll be fine. I wanted a new one just because not that I'm not going to use these old ones, but with them being older, like I said, the condition they get, it's not as pristine as having a new brush that's that's you know brand new bristles and never been painted with. And here's something else I want to show you. <clears throat> excuse me that's right folks a made in the USA Weber two inch brush got this out of a box a master kit you can tell it's the Weber kind it's got the uh, riveted ferrules on there made in the USA on the handle so let's compare these two brushes this brush here, as far as I know, looks to me like it's brand new. I brought, bought it used off eBay. Said used, but I, I can't tell where this brush is used. So. so let's just look at these two brushes here. So the wooden handles seem to be pretty similar. Same size. Like I said, the ferrule on the, on the new style is stapled instead of riveted. It looks like the ferrule is a little bit shorter on the new style. And in turn, it looks like maybe the bristles are just a little bit shorter on the new style as well. But as far as looking at them, the bristles look pretty much the same. So I'm not sure. I've not tried the new style two inch brush yet, but uh, I'm going to and we'll find out. Uh, so what do you guys think? Have you all used both of these? Uh, you know, leave me a note in the comments and tell me if, if you think this new style works well. Looks like it did or like it will. I did a video a couple weeks ago on all of the major brands of one inch style scenery brushes like these and the new Bob Ross one inch brush that was made in Germany. Did just as well as some of the others. So, you know, I mean. I'm, I'm partial to the to the Martin F. Weber style, the Martin F. Weber manufacturing, of course, made in the USA, of course. But uh, as long as they work, it seems to me like they do okay. So anyway, just wanted to show you some of my new brushes, stuff like this really gives me the fizz. It's, I love getting new brushes in the mail. It makes me want to makes me want to get out there and paint something. So like I said, take care of your old brushes, odorless thinner. <clears throat> only to clean them and they'll stay lasting a long time like this nine years you keep using the same brushes and like i said just want to try a couple new ones that had some more uniform bristles on them but i think they'll do fine so so like i said let me let me know folks what kind of you what kind of brush you like do you like this new style or do you like the old style or, or what do you use so until next time folks have a great day happy painting